Hello health enthusiasts, welcome back to my channel. Today we're diving into the fascinating world of supplements to explore the difference between dihydroberberine and regular berberine. Which one works faster? Stay tuned as we uncover the facts. Now, before we delve into the comparison, let's quickly understand what berberine is. Berberine is a compound found in various plants, including golden seal, Oregon grape, and barberry. It's renowned for its potential health benefits, especially in managing blood sugar levels and supporting heart health. Regular berberine has long been a popular supplement valued for its positive impact on metabolic health. Studies have shown that it can enhance insulin sensitivity, lower blood sugar levels, and even aid in weight management. However, one common concern is its absorption rate, which can limit its effectiveness. This brings us to dihydroberberine, a more bioavailable form of berberine. The dihydro modification enhances its absorption, potentially making it a faster acting powerhouse. Dihydroberberine is believed to reach higher concentrations in the bloodstream, which could translate to quicker and more efficient results. Now, let's look at the science. A study published in compared the pharmacokinetics of dihydroberberine and regular berberine. The results suggested that dihydroberberine may indeed have superior bioavailability, leading to faster and more pronounced effects on glucose metabolism. But what do users say? Anecdotal evidence often speaks volumes. Many individuals have reported experiencing quicker results with dihydroberberine, noticing improvements in energy levels, mood and blood sugar control in a shorter time frame compared to regular berberine. Before we wrap things up, let's delve deeper into the benefits of regular berberine. While dihydroberberine may be more bioavailable, regular berberine still has a lot to offer. Firstly, regular berberine is known for its ability to help regulate blood sugar levels. This makes it a popular choice among those with diabetes or those who are at risk. Several studies have shown its effectiveness in this area, with some comparing its effects to conventional diabetes medications. Secondly, it has been shown to have positive effects on the heart and circulatory system. It can help reduce cholesterol levels and lower blood pressure, contributing to overall heart health. Thirdly, berberine has also been linked to improvements in gut health. It can help balance the gut flora and reduce inflammation, which is beneficial for those with gut-related issues like IBS. However, it's important to note that while berberine has many potential benefits, it also has side effects. Some people may experience digestive discomfort, such as cramping or diarrhea. As with any supplement, it's always best to talk to your healthcare provider before starting a new regimen. Now let's turn our attention to dehydroberberine, the more bioavailable cousin of regular berberine. This compound, thanks to its enhanced absorption, can offer quicker and potentially more pronounced benefits. Firstly, like regular berberine, Dihydroberberine can effectively regulate blood sugar levels, offering a helping hand to those with diabetes or prediabetes. Secondly, it also has the potential to boost heart health by lowering cholesterol levels and reducing blood pressure, just like its regular counterpart. But where dihydroberberine shines is how quickly it can deliver these benefits, thanks to its high absorption rate. Scientific studies have shown that dihydroberberine can reach effective levels in the body faster than regular berberine, offering quicker relief and results. However, it's not without its potential side effects. Similar to regular berberine, some people may experience digestive discomfort. And as always, it's essential to consult your healthcare provider before starting any new supplement regimen. So you might be wondering, how do you choose between regular and dihydroberberine? Well, this decision hinges on a few key factors. Firstly, consider your individual health goals. Are you hoping to regulate your blood sugar levels quickly? Or is a slower, more steady approach more suitable for your lifestyle? Dihydroberberine, with its high absorption rate, offers quicker results, while regular berberine provides a steady stream of benefits. Secondly, it's crucial to consider your current health status. If you are dealing with severe health issues such as diabetes or heart disease, it's essential to consult with your healthcare provider before deciding. They can guide you towards the right choice based on your specific needs and health conditions. Lastly, personal preferences also play a role. Some people may prefer the quicker effects of dihydroberberine, while others might prefer the tried and tested regular berberine. Remember, the choice between regular and dihydroberberine ultimately depends on your individual health goals and circumstances. It's not a one-size-fits-all situation. 
As always, ensure to consult with a healthcare professional before starting any new supplement regimen. Choose wisely and take the first step towards better health. All right, now that we've gone in depth about regular and dihydroberberine, let's address some of the most frequently asked questions about berberine. Question one, how much berberine should I take? Typically, the recommended dosage of berberine is 500 mmg, taken two, three times daily. However, always consult with your healthcare provider before starting any new supplement. Question two, when is the best time to take berberine? The timing can vary based on your individual health goals and lifestyle. Some people prefer to take it before meals for optimal absorption, while others might take it at bedtime to help regulate blood sugar levels overnight. Question three, can I take berberine with other supplements or medications? Berberine can interact with several medications, such as those for diabetes or hypertension. Therefore, it's crucial to discuss this with your healthcare provider before starting berberine. And finally, let's address a common misconception. Some people believe that berberine can replace a healthy diet and exercise. This is not true. Berberine is a supplement meant to enhance your health regimen, not replace it. It's most effective when combined with a balanced diet and regular physical activity. We hope this FAQ section has cleared up any lingering questions or concerns about berberine. Remember, it's always best to consult with a healthcare professional before starting any new supplement regimen. Before we wrap up, let's take a moment to reflect on what we've learned today. We've delved into the world of berberine, exploring both regular and dihydroberberine, examining scientific evidence, user experiences, and detailed benefits for each. It's clear that both types have unique advantages, making the decision between the two dependent on your individual health goals and needs. Remember, supplements like berberine are meant to enhance, not replace, a balanced diet and regular exercise. They can be powerful tools in your health regimen, but it's essential to make informed decisions about their use. Supplements are not one size fits all, and what works for one person may not work for another. So continue your research, consult with healthcare professionals, and make the best decision for your health. It's always worth taking the time to ensure you're making the right choice for your body and your health goals. In conclusion, whether you choose regular berberine, dihydroberberine, or another supplement entirely, remember the key to effective supplementation is informed decision-making and consultation with healthcare professionals. Stay healthy, stay informed, and as always, remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more health and wellness content.